Hey guys, welcome back to another Team Fortress, or welcome back to a new series I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be walking you guys through the Team Fortress 2 campaign. So, we're going to start out with level 1. Uh, I have it so enemies are turned off, uh, because I don't like them. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to walk our spawn, and there's going to be a double man to go on a clue room right there, and there's going to be a spy right here. You're going to want to uh, hit him with a sandman ball. So after you do that, you're going to be able to run into the next area. Um, you're going to want to strafe because there's going to be like bombs. <laughs> um, and and uh, so and right now you don't have the bomb immunity ability. You get that at level 24 high pass. So you're going to kind of want to come in here and um, you're going to sit in the chair and uh, the cutscene is going to play and Rick Toffin is going to tell you um, about all of his stuff. So. And these are this is your these are going to be your followers for the campaign uh, for the level. Um, so you're gonna we're talking going to tell you about your mission objective, and you're gonna kind of walk through. Um, and then you're gonna be like up at spawn. The spy is still gonna be there, but he's just gonna kind of be like joking in the corner. So you're gonna worry about him. Uh, the door is gonna be there again. You're gonna clean the room. You're gonna walk out of spawn. Um, and when you walk out, you're gonna jump across the bridge. And there's gonna be a sniper. We're gonna be two snipers, one on either side. So what you're gonna basically want to do is you're gonna want to cleaver one and stun him, because uh, you have the stun cleaver ability. And then on the right side, you're gonna bleed him with the Sandman, uh, because you put glass in your Sandman. So, uh, uh, so basically, after that, you're gonna boom, cleaver stun, and you're gonna Sandman ball. And you're going to make sure you don't have the soda popper so you can hype. Um, when you go through here, there's going to be a sentry gun right there. Now, sentries are really tough to deal with as the scout class. If you're playing scouts campaign, they like to throw in a lot of sentry guns. We'll get that to when we get to level 32, uh, Thunder Mountain. Um, or, sorry, I lied. Uh, Thunder Mountain's level 12. I'm sorry about that. Um, when you get to level 12, Thunder Mountain, um, there's going to be a lot of sentries. It's going to be really hard as uh, a scout. So, um, basically, a scout, what you're going to want to do is you're going to basically want to hope that you get a medic bot. If you do get a medic bot, you'll be able to oop or just pass them, like not even worry about it. Um, I don't have a medic bot here because I got really, really, really crappy RNG. So I'm going to take the bottom row. This is not really known by many people in the game. doesn't tell you about it. But you can go this way, but there's a lot of enemies down here. And it just kind of sucks. You also miss out important story quotes. Um, you miss out on some of the heavies lore. So, which is going to come up later uh, on level 47, uh, Cascade. Um, you're going to want to need to know that heavy war. So, we're just going to run back through our sewers because we kind of cleared out all the enemies here. There are some bad guys here. And we're just going to want to kill them. Um, and then, uh, after that, you're going to want to make sure you dodge the sniper. Uh, and then just kind of run through, kind of run through, yeah, I forgot about the sentry, that's my bad, guys. So, um, uh, after you do that, um, so basically, I'm just, I'm not very good at the game yet, so I'm just going to let you know what you're going to have to do. After you get past the sentry gun, you're going to go uh, into their spawn, and you're going to do a little uh, jig. Um, and then after you leave, you're going to want to uh, head down, and there's going to be a, uh, another demo man. Demo man's are really rough until level 24 uh, high pass when you get the explosive immunity. Um, and so, um, basically, after you get, uh, through and kill the demo man, you're just gonna, like, cleave on him, sandman him, um, you know, really similarly like this. And then, like, one shot with the soda popper, uh, that should be enough to kill him. So, after you kill that demo man, there's going to be, um, like, a really big demo man in the intelligence room. And once you um, beat that really big demo man, you'll get, like, your scout will play a voice line, and then he will, um, um, he's going to, and then the, like, the cutscene's going to play, and you'll be done with level one. So, thanks guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed my guide to playing, uh, the campaign of Team Fortress 2, 
and I hope I can see you guys in the next video. Please drop a like and subscribe and share on Facebook Reels and share on the Snapchat Spotlight Stories and share on the Tech Talks. Um, we're hoping to get uh, 26 subscribers by the next video. So um, uh, check out my stream, twitch.tv slash syllabus the lies for some live gameplay of the TF2 campaign, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.